This is me, Tipco BWC Accountancy Training. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, this is the little about me, like uh, experience and all. So I have like 12 plus years of experience in IT industry and uh, out of 12 plus of years of experience, I have like around 10 years in Tipco integrations. Apart from that Tipco, like I have been working in Mulesoft, Albumi and uh, Core Java. So I started with Core Java and then I moved to this Tipco and then Mulesoft and Albumi. Apart from this, I have worked on multiple Tipco suites of products, which include Tipco BW 5X, 6X, C, Tipco Enterprise Administrator, Tipco MFT, Tipco Business Connect, BPM, RV, EMS, and many others. So I've been part of many Tipco products in my old journey. Apart from this, I have like a experience in cloud deployment using Docker and Kubernetes technologies. And like uh, working on the CI CD, how we can connect to our to the repositories, whether it is a GitHub or Bitbucket, and then how we can use Maven to create the artifacts. And then using Jenkins jobs, we can deploy to any container based platform or in a cloud. Okay. So I have experience in that as well. I have like a TIPCO certified professional in BW6 and CE. So this I have done two years back, both BW6 and BWC. Apart from that, I have like a TCA, TIPCO certified associate in many other things like in messaging, in administrator, in the REST APIs, in Flogo, in cloud. So I have a lot of certification in TIPCO regarding different, different sorts of products. Okay. Any, any questions on this? Also, like uh, I have like uh, given a lot of trainings in that in my like uh, organizations and um, external also like I am doing here with Visual Path. So I have given earlier two three batches also with Visual Path for the same typical training. Now let's come to the course overview. So this is what we are planning to do as a part of course of this step for BW6 and C. So starting from top, the very first point, there will be 30 hours online class for BW6 and C. So mostly we go to like uh, weekday classes, each one hour of class, and we will be covering both BW6 and C. So we will start from BW6 and we will go with the BW6 design concepts, then deployment concept. Then we will go with the BWCE. Now, C and BW6 design concepts are same. So we will see in C, we will see only deployments because only the deployment part is different. Okay. So if you have seen the BW6 and C, Studio, then you would know that a design time design time means development. Development part is almost same for BW6 and container addition. So in the class, we will cover development on any one platform. And that would be BW6 because BW6 is the starting. And then if you would like us, like me, to show you some design, like samples on BWC Studio also, then I will show that. But majorly, we will cover all our development in BW6. And at your side, you can do the same in BW6 or C, whatever you want. But why we are going to do it on BW6? Because we will be deploying applications on TIPCO Administrator. That is for BW6. For BWC, we do not have any administrator. So that would be deploying on any cloud based platform or in a container. That's why we are going to develop in BW6 and we are going to deploy that in the administrator. Once we will come to BWC, we will create 
few samples in CE and we will deploy that also in Docker or AWS. So we will cover that part in this online class. This will be basically core concept. Okay, so we are going to cover the core concept from development to deployment lifecycle. So core concept means we will be going to start from scratch. So if you see the second last point, assume zero familiarity with BW6 and CA. So I will assume that you guys have very little knowledge on BW6 or C. So we will going to start from scratch. Scratch means from hello world. So we will learn how uh, we have to install BW6 and C in our systems, how we have to configure TIPCO Enterprise Administrator in our local system. So we will learn all the things from scratch so that you guys can do it on your local system. You can have that whole environment set up on your local system and you guys can do the hands-on at your site. Whatever I will be showing on the class, you guys can also do it at your site. So this, this way you will get best learning experience. Next is hands-on exercise. So I would be showing you some samples in the class. Like uh, let's say once, let's say we are talking about REST API, how we can create REST API. So we will be first of all going through the theoretical and then I would be showing the practical. Practical means I would be showing some samples, one sample, how we can create a REST API in BW6 in the class. And then I would be giving some POCs. POCs means I will be giving some exercise to you guys after the class for your practice. So you can do it after the class and in the next session, you can come up with the doubts if you have any. So that way you will remain engaged with me. I don't want just a theoretical class and uh, you guys are not doing anything at your side after the class. So that way you will not going to get a uh, best or you can say much more uh, like knowledge on the tool. Okay, so you need to do it uh, parallelly with me to gain knowledge. And that way only you will get doubts, issues and which we, will, we are going to resolve in the classes. So. That is uh, like this uh, interactive class with doubt clearing. So this is a normal thing. Like uh, I would like to have an interactive class. So because uh, that way I will also remain motivated and I like you guys also should remain motivated. So I would like you guys to be asking questions wherever you find. I will definitely try to solve while in the class or at the end of the class. If not possible, like if something I would not be able to solve, then I will take the notes and will help you to answer it in the next class. But mostly I will try to resolve in the same class only. Also, apart from this, I will going to tell migration practices from older version to newer version. So what does that mean? We have like a, TIPCO BW5. So if you have worked on BW5 earlier, that is their older version or stable version. So um, in the market, a lot of projects or uh, a lot of companies are having projects where they are migrating from older version to newer version. So what are the best practices for that? How you should do it so that you get less issues for that? Also, I would be covering in this class. I will be telling what should be the best practices. I would be going to show you one sample BW5 application, which I will be migrating to BW6 or C, whichever you want. And I will help you uh, like how we can resolve the errors and everything. So you will get idea about the migration also. And then at the end, we will be discussing on the certification. So I would be providing some sample questions for TIPCO certification and tips like what should, what should you prepare so that you can clear TCA and TCP, TIPCO certified associate and TIPCO certified professional exams for BW6 and C. Mostly if you will do the class 
properly like these 30 hours class properly with me tca you can definitely clear without any help for tcp i would like i would give the material for both TC, tca and tcp but for tcp you need to do little more hands on like if you are directly if you are currently working with the ipco then you will get more benefit but if you're not working you're just learning then you have to do some more uh, practice you have to go through the technical documentation that will help you to clear the tcp and with the sample question because the questions which i will be going to give you are not sample question these are the actual questions which came in my exam so i have taken the screenshots of those exam uh, questions which i got in my exam so i have those questions with me so i will be sharing with you guys at the end of the class so you guys can go through that questions and you will get some idea what kind of questions are coming in the tca or tcp exams but yes these are two years old questions so these are not the latest questions but i think 99 percent it would be same because uh, bw6 is not a new tool as of now it is older now so the question pattern should remain same what i got two years back so this is the agenda of our course of this training tipco bw6 and c any any questions or any doubt on this course overview let me know i see sunny has joined hi sunny so any any questions on this course so mostly we do the classes uh, in the morning so that uh, because I also work in an organization, so we can do it uh, in the morning, eight or nine, or we can do it in the evening after eight o'clock. So that is, we can decide, like you can decide with, you can tell your preference with the visual path and visual path will update me and then we can go further and we can decide on one timeline. But what is uh, your preference? Anil, if I ask you, what is your preference of timing? And Sunny, just wanted to know. Okay. Uh, Sunny, can you hear? Can you hear me? Okay. I can't hear you, Sunny, if you are speaking. Just uh, type in chat. If you are not, if you have some issue with the mic, then just type in chat like uh, Anil is doing. And in that fees uh, uh, you can ask with visual path i am just a trainer so i am not aware of the fees uh, so for any queries regarding fees and charges you can go back to visual path uh, like uh, kiran may like i am in touch with kiran may from visual path i don't know whom you have contacted or you got this link so you can go back to Kiran J and you can discuss on the charges for that. Okay. So Sunny is staying after 8.30 onwards. Okay. Any so any queries on this course? Like uh, so you guys are currently working on TIPCO or you guys are new to TIPCO? Can you just uh, let me know? I, I know that my audience. Okay, great. You are working in TIPCO, Sunny. So you are working in BW5 or 6 or CE on which uh, tool you are working currently? Okay, 5.13, okay, fine. Oh, great, so you are working also on 5, great. So that's good, like, so you guys are aware of TIPCO and there are a lot of differences, okay? So we will be covering in the classes, while, while the classes I will be telling you the differences, what the difference, like wherever I will find the differences from 5 to 6, or see, I will let you know while the classes like this is a difference from five to six. This has been upgraded. This is a new feature and all. Okay, so this is all we will be discussing on BW6 and see. Okay, so now let's. Uh, so if uh, there's no other questions regarding course, then let's uh, uh, let's say I should give you quickly an overview of the course six and see. Okay, just a little bit. In the demo, we are going to discuss on six and C. 
so that you guys get some idea and then you guys can decide for this course okay so let's quickly go to the next class next sorry next slide so these are the products okay as of now these are the major products which are going into the market from tipco side tipco business work on premise tipco bwc private cloud tipco platform tci and api management tipco mesh okay so these are the four products which are been mostly getting used in the market currently so tipco business work on the top you see that is tipco business work 6 okay bw6 that is basically an on premise tool on premise means which will which is you are going to use on a particular system it is not on the cloud okay so that is bw6 but it is cloud ready so bw6 is on premise but cloud ready why it is cloud ready because you can use the same bw6 code you can open in bwc and you can create the artifacts and you can deploy that into the cloud platform so you don't need to do much while working with bw6 or ce okay but that is not the case with the bw5 so bw5 code you cannot simply open in 6 or ce and you can create the artifacts okay but 6 is giving you that is giving you that leverage or 6 is giving you that flexibility that feature like your if you want to go from 6 to cloud that also is possible with business work 6 okay now coming to the bwc so that is a basically a cloud native product okay so here whatever you are going to create the artifacts these are basically automatically deriving the benefits of running the application in the cloud okay it has like inbuilt feature of uh, cloud foundry support uh, docker so it is they are giving with tipco bwc you are getting the runtime runtime means builds for docker and cloud foundry in my uh, you can think of technologies okay these are technologies for continuous deployment okay so that is the benefit coming with tipco bwc now what is tci this is tipco cloud integration so this is basically ipas ipas means platform as a system so tipco is providing tci also so if you want to directly work on ipas you don't want to work on tipco business work 6 or c then they have their own platform tci like we have aws as you right similarly tipco is also having their own platform that is tci and the fourth is api management or you can think of api gateway that is tipco mesh so that is i think uh, old everybody mostly know what is tipco mesh basically it is for connecting some external users or external system to your apis via gateway so if you do not want to expose your apis right directly with the external clients or external systems so you have some intermediate that is tipco meshery so that request would be going via tipco meshery to your actual apis and we can have some limitations uh, security authentication on tipco meshery level so at that level only the request will be approved or discarded so it will not reach to the actual servers where your api is running okay so before that only everything will happen and then only it will going to pass to the actual apis that is the part of api management tipco mesh so i have just just given the overview on this product okay so we are not going to work on tipco mesh tci okay we are just going to cover business work and bwc okay now this is some differences okay when we should work on which platform like when we should work on tipco bw6 when we should work on tipco bwc and when we should work on tipco tci okay so this is just uh, one of the slide i have taken okay so here you can see when we do not have any plan to move to cloud container or ipas then we should work on tipco bw6 because it has almost all the things what we have in bw5 but what you have to do you have to do some refactoring of the bw5 project so that it can work properly in bw6 okay that is the things you have that is the thing you have to do in bw5 
Now coming to the second scenario, that is TIPCO Cloud, BWC. So when we use BWC, when we have some future plan to adopt the cloud or container addition. Okay. So here, what we build, we build microservices, cloud native applications. Okay. Now to support BWC, you need to see, we have to basically change some things which are not supported in BWC, like file checkpointing, RV. Okay. So these are things which are not supported in cloud. So if you have some applications using these things, then you have to read, then you have to redesign these application before migrating to BWC from file. Okay. So that is the exception you can think of moving to BWC. And third, as I told earlier, this is basically web native IPaaS. So if you want to directly work on a native product, IPaaS product, then you should do TCI. So there on the cloud only, you would be creating all the uh, integrations and you will be deploying on the TIPCO cloud only. Okay. Because that is basically TIPCO own platform. Got it. Now let's come to why BW6. Why should we move to BW6 or why should we learn BW6? So these are some features or you can think of reasons. So these are not all the reasons. I have mentioned few reasons. Why should we move to BW6? First is, I would say the main point is the Eclipse based design. Okay. I'm coming from the fourth point native Eclipse design type. Okay. So that is, that is, that should be our first why we should move to BW6 from BW5. BW5 is TIPCO proprietary tool. Okay. It is not standard industry based standard tool. But now in BW6, they have used Eclipse based design time. Okay. So that is an industry approved tool, which mostly all the different integrations uh, technologies are using as of now in the market. Okay. So with uh, this native Eclipse design time, you get all the Eclipse feature. Okay. All the standards, all that unit testing, all the like uh, warnings, uh, like warnings, I mean to say regarding the typecasting, all that, uh, whatever is there, if you have worked in Java earlier with Eclipse, then you would know how that Eclipse looks like design type. Okay. So it is exactly based on that. The BW6 Studio is customized on the Eclipse tool. So that is the best thing because you have different perspective, different views, and you can em embed many things in that uh, studio. You can have a repository view. You can have Java view. You can have a database view. So this is all I will going to show you while we will work actually on the BW6 okay, studio. So I'm just in a brief telling you why it is benefit to work on BW6. Now, second thing is flexibility, extensibility, right? So this is all like uh, there in BW5 also, okay? Like flexibility means zero coding process, okay? So you will, won't be doing much coding. So if you are already working in BW5, then you know that, okay? So also it is providing ability to build strongly type as well as loosely type service implementation, right? So you can have strong type applications and loosely type couple, right? So we know what is loosely couple and what is strong couple, right? If you have multiple reusable component created, that is loosely couple application, right? You can do testing easily. You can reuse that small, small processes, sub processes, right? In multiple processes. Third thing is ability to specify application configuration to be either hard coded or flexibly in the module. So that is basically you have that feature available. Okay. Now coming to the extensibility. Extensibility means integration with standard Java classes to supplement the process or model level approach. So you can integrate with the standard Java classes. In BW5, we don't have that feature, right? We can in call the Java class, but there is no actual Java visibility, right? Visibility in the tool BW5. So you have to work on Java in some other tool. And then you mostly what we used to do, we used to create the jar and then we used to use it in the BW5. But in BW6, 
you can actually write the java class itself in the bw6 studio you can actually see all the java classes whatever you are using or you want to you use you can you see all the jars all the libraries which are part of uh, all the part of uh, java uh, you are going to use okay so it is basically a combination of both java and tipco so that is the major benefit of using it okay that is the major benefit of uh, moving to from bw5 to bw6 is integration of java with tipco now third thing is modularity so modularity is like you have increased visibility and traceability like you can have names you have application name different versions different dependencies so here you have dependencies okay so you can version the dependencies also so you can have same dependencies with different versions okay so that modularity is also there also you can have reusability with consistent model across different technologies you can have processes java classes wsdls shared resources xsds and etc so all this you can reuse with a different different technologies okay now this native eclipse design we already discussed this is uh, now coming to the graphical modeler for zero code de development this is basically what you can think of same like we have the graphical model right where we just drag and drop the things so this is almost similar to bw5 uh, how we used to do in bw5 same way we have to do in bw6 and c except there are few differences like uh, regarding the startup process how you want to call uh, rest apis and soap apis there are some different changes are there the way of doing but the core concepts are same like what you have in bw5 okay some palettes are not working in bw6 or see like you have a service palette in bw5 we don't have it in 6 and c and so there are many things so some things are changed in bw6 and c from what we used to do in bw5 okay but graphical the way of doing the things like dragging dragging the palettes from uh, your canvas and then map doing the xpath mapping it that will remain same right so that is why it is called zero code development now what other feature they have introduced they have introduced convergences okay convergence conversation are basically for correlating different messages okay so this is basically for a stateful transaction okay this is not for stateless conversations are for stateful stateful means where you will store the state of the previous process so we will discuss more on this conversation what is conversation how we can use conversations in bw6 okay that we will cover in the actual classes but but today i'm just briefing you these are the different things which got added in bw6 and that's why we should work on bw6 now or ce because these are the good features which were not available in bw5 other thing is event handlers okay so what happens on different event like say, if you are doing let's say some some card payment and it got uh, uh, stuck right in actual scenario so what happened in that case so how that things work in actual in the back end right so these things are work on the basis of different event handlers okay so on actual on on every event okay so you can define some tasks so let's say if somebody is ordering on a website they are ordering it and then they are cancelling it okay let's say you have added some some products in your cart and then you want to cancel it so what should happen in the cancel case what should happen in the uh, ordering case all will be managed via event handlers okay so how we can use these event handlers that also we will discuss uh, in detail with some examples in the classes okay and one thing i have not mentioned here is that inbuilt rest support okay so in bw5 we don't have inbuilt support for rest we have to install the plugin right but for bw6 and c it is having first class support for rest json so we don't need to install any 
plug in our uh, software separately for rest or json support okay so that is uh, another thing and then obviously the migration path right so in bw6 and ce they have given the migration path also how you can migrate so they have given the utility inbuilt inside the code uh, studio where you can migrate the old bw5 code to 6 and c so you have to do some things there so there is some processes there some best practices are there so that i will be covering in the classes but yeah so this is also a main feature of bw6 and c because in many organization they are moving to fix and c so they have their old code running in bw5 so they have to migrate right or they have to create it newly in bw6 and c so but creating a newly in bw6 and c will have a lot of like uh, you will need more time but migration will help you in killing your time okay so that's why this feature is given and it is a very good feature almost 90% 80 to 90% of your code will be migrated as it is with all the details in the bw6 and c okay 10% things you have to do manually after migration. Okay, so that all we will discuss in the class. So I have just taken one screenshot here. Okay, so you can just, this is one screenshot of Tipo BW6 debugging. Okay, so this is just one screenshot of the studio. Okay, this is how it looks like. Here you can see the jobs. Here you can see the job data. So whatever data is flowing within different activities, right? That you can see it here on the right hand side. And this is your process and sub process. And within that process and sub process, you can see the activities, what all activities are going through file, polar, parsing, render and all, okay? And this is your actual flow diagram or you can say canvas where you create the flow. And below is the console. Console basically where it will going to display the logs and all for your application. So this is just a debug view I have shown for for BW6. Okay. Now this is basically an architecture. Okay. BW6 architecture. So we are not going to discuss in detail this architecture. We I have just I just wanted to show you the overall architecture, a screenshot where you can see we have different things. So this is where the things are different from majorly from BW5 to 6, okay? So in BW5, we do not have this concepts of uh, app space, app nodes, okay? We do have domains in BW5, but we do not have this uh, app space and app node, okay? So that is a new feature, which is in BW6, okay? <laughs> Sorry. And this is especially, especially for deployment purpose, okay? For design time, you don't need to know majorly about app space, app node, okay? But when you will go for deployment, then you should know about this architecture. Design time is here, okay? You can see you have application, application module, share module, okay? So your one application will be part of having one application module and multiple share modules. And then from that application design, you will going to create the artifact. Artifact means EAR file. And that ER file we are going to upload on the TIPCO Enterprise Administrator, that is T. So how we have admin in BW5, right? Similarly, in TIPCO, BW6, we have TIPCO Enterprise Administrator, that is the admin for BW6. So there we deploy our applications, our ER. And, and so this is, this T has this architecture. So in the T you will have domain, the domain will have uh, app space, inside app space you will have app nodes and that app node would be running your applications. Okay, so this is the architecture, overall architecture or platform overview for BW6. So we will discuss on this deeply, okay, while we will work on the classes. So I will tell you what is the application module, shared module, App space, app node, domain, everything we will discuss in detail so that you get complete idea of all these terms. Okay. As of now, you might be hearing it first time or you are just getting a very, very, very high overview, but we will discuss that in detail and I will be showing you actually 
so i would be running that t on my local system if you want you can also run it locally on your system okay you can set up the t on your local system and then you can create uh, these all domain app space app node on that and you can deploy your application okay so i would be showing you all these things actually by doing it in the class uh, so that you will understand it properly now this is how it look like tipco enterprise administrator okay this is just the one uh, sample application view okay how it looks like so it's very pretty much different from what you see in bw5 admin okay so it is completely transformed from bw5 to bw6 tipco enterprise administrator okay so here you can see you have different uh, tabs uh, here you will see domain here you can have machine installation so we will cover all these things okay i will tell you details how you can see the logs in the enterprise administrator how you can deploy your application in load balance or fault tolerant mode in tipco enterprise administrator how you can see what agent is running on your application oh, sorry on your server and how you can add other other technologies other technology means other tipco products in the t so you can add other tipco products also in t like similarly you used to add in bw5 right ems hawk the same thing you can add in bw6 also so you can have ems also so you can have a hawk also here so you can connect different different products in bw6 t so that that all you can do here also there is a concept of profiling okay so that is also a very new concept in bw6 and t profile so profile is basically for deploying in different different environment so in bw5 we do not have this concept okay but in bw6 and c we have this feature of profile where you will define the artifacts for different environment dev test staging production and while you are going to deploy your application you will select the profile which profile you want to select for the deployment let's like say you are deploying for dev environment right so you will have a separate dev profile which will have all the dev related connections uh, well data values uh, or a username password everything in the dev profile similarly if you are going for deploying in test so you don't need to recreate the artifact for test okay you simply have a test profile already created at the design time so you will select only that profile test profile and it is going to have the all test related connections and data so that way we don't need to change our code or we don't need to create artifacts again again and again for our different environment deployment we just going to develop once and we are going to just going to create artifact once for all the environment and that's it then you can simply deploy it on any environment any time if you have to change anything you can change it in the profile manually also by going back you can open the profile from backend and you can change it it is a xml file okay so you can change there let's say you want to change the username value so you can directly change in the profile or another method you already know we can go in the admin and we can change it right on the ad hoc basis like in bw5 also we used to go back to the admin and we can change it right so similarly you can change in the bw6 also but if you want to change in the artifacts then you don't need to open the code in bw6 and then change it you can simply just open the bw6 profile tab or test profile and that's it okay now coming to the bwc okay why bwc so as we discussed this is a cloud native product which support for containerized deployments it is suitable for microservices and it has flexibility to change deployment environment without affecting code so this is all we discuss right so support for containerized deployment basically i told you it has the inbuilt support for docker and cloud foundry so these are containerized deployment technologies okay so you can deploy either on docker or on the cloud foundry so in our class we will see on the docker okay i will be showing you how you can create the images okay so in bwc we create images okay 
so that image we deploy on the docker or any other cloud platform so i will be showing you how you can create the base image how you can create your actual application image and then how we can deploy that on docker okay so we will be seeing all that in our bwc session okay and then i would be showing you how we can deploy a simple application tipco application on aws okay so i would be showing you that as well in the class so that you can see how it does look like different from bw6 and c okay and like we can go from 6 to c okay there is an option from go back to 6c to 6 okay that is also there in c so basically it is design time is same right so 6 and c has same features so from 6 you can change your deployment target to container a cloud same from bwc also if you want to deploy your application on the on premise okay so you can change the deployment target to app space and then you can open that code in bw6 you can create the er file and that's it you can deploy it on the t so basically bw6 has forward compatibility and bwc has backward compatibility so both are designed in such a way that there should not be any problem if you want to work on 6 or c basically tipco designed c keeping in mind that in future they will remove 6 okay and they will keep only c so that's why all the features of 6 are there in bwc okay generally they wanted to go to bwc but just to provide an on premise thing right like bw5 on premise thing so they created bw6 that was the main purpose of having bw6 and c separately otherwise they could have gone with the only one software bw c but uh, many organization does not want to go to c cloud support they just want to keep everything on premise they have all the things set up there on their own uh, environment so for that tipco has provided bw6 which is very similar to bw5 whatever like oh, everything can be done on premise you don't need to you don't need any cloud support or any other thing or container thing okay everything you can do same like you are doing in bw5 now last is basically this is just the one i have shown how it is benefit in bwc regarding the ci cd so ci cd you can do in 6 also it is very convenient same in bwc okay so in bwc why it is convenient because it has inbuilt support for this uh, containerization right so if you see here you have somebody working on design time you just need to commit the code in the bit bucket okay and then jenkins using maven it will going to pull the code it will going to push it to your like basically push means like it is going to create the docker image okay or cloud artifact and you can deploy it to any cloud platform kubernetes aws or azure so that's a, basically a ci cd continuous integration and continuous deployment see so we want to be seeing that in the class okay so we want to be working on ci cd but this is just i am telling that this is how uh, very efficiently been supported by bwc the ci cd because of having inbuilt support for containerization that is not there in bwc okay so this is all going to be the agenda uh, of can think of uh, our tipco session okay so we will cover in just in a brief i will tell you again we will first of all going to have a so uh, so first we will have bw6 uh, design time okay then what we will have we will have a bw6 deployments how we can do how we can deploy our application to t okay then third we will see bwc bwc deployment specifically because development is same what you do in bw6 will remain same in bwc there is no change in the development okay so we will simply going to have some sample created in bwc and we will go to the deployment part and say okay then once we are then after covering all this 
we will be discussing on the migration, how we can migrate from BW5 to 6 or C. Okay. And then at the end, we will have that certification samples and pet discussion. So we will be discussing on the TIPCO certification. So this is all how the project, oh, sorry, this is how whole training is designed so that you will learn both 6 and C from basics to somewhat uh, professional. Okay. So any questions here? Anything from your side, Anil? So Sunny is fine. And there are a lot of improvements. Okay. So once we will go through the actual classes, you will see there are a lot of improvements from BW5. Okay. So once you will start working on BW6 and C, na, then in the starting, you will see, you will you will get some difficulties. But once you will keep working on 6 and C, na, then you will realize that how beneficial and how easy to work in 6 and C in compared to BW5. Okay. So Anil is asking like uh, how many hours of practical class and how many hours of theoretical class. Okay. So so there is no uh, bifurcation for this, Anil. So basically, in the one hour class only, uh, as I told, once whenever we are going to take any topic, okay, let's say we are taking any topic, uh, APIs, okay, let's say we have taken a SOAP API, how we can build a SOAP API. So in that one hour, one hour class, I will be giving you brief theoretical knowledge, how, what is SOAP and SOAP headers and SOAP details, authentication, everything, how we can do in BW6, okay. And then after that, I would be showing you practically creating a SOAP API in the BW6 Studio. So that would be the agenda agenda for a complete one topic. And it is not necessary that it will be, we have to cover in one hour. So it can take two days also, okay? So the main goal is you guys should get proper understanding of the particular topic. It is not that we have to cover that in one hour class only, okay? Because some things you can cover in, we can cover in 30 minutes also, right? It is not like we need one hour. But some some concepts are new, then for that you will need more time, right? So it is according to the topic which we are discussing, but we are going to cover both theoretically and practical. Practical means I will be doing it on my side and I will be showing it to you in the class. And then I will be giving you some POCs, okay? On that particular topic. So. If you don't have the software, then you can download the trial version. Okay. The trial version is available on the TIPCO website. So this is also, I would be telling you in the class, how you can download the, from where you can download the trial version. For TIPCO BW6 and TIPCO BWC, for both, the trial versions are available on the TIPCO site, which is available for 90 days. 90 days, you can use it. So you guys have to download the trial versions if you do not have the software on your side. Now, trial version would have some limitations, but for our learning purpose, it has everything, okay? So you don't need to worry for that. Yes, uh, all 30 hours class will be recorded and you will get the recordings. Yes, correct. So uh, you can do it uh, after checking the recording, you can do it on your side again if you have any issues and 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 uh, even though if you have recordings and you are getting some issues then also you can come back with your queries in the next session the next class and we will be covering that first and then we will move on to the next topic so i want you guys to know and understand properly all the topics then only i will be moving for the next topic okay it is not like i just need to complete the course i want you guys to be clear with the topics so that you guys can clear the certification. Okay. So that is main motive of this training. Now software of BW6, we will not be providing because it is a licensed software. So I, I am having the licensed software at my side, but I cannot provide that. Okay. So for you guys, you can download the trial version. As I said, on the TIPCO site, you, you just need to register with your credentials and you will get the 90 days trial version which you can download on your local system and you can use it for your learning purpose. Any other thing? And uh, I haven't, so, and I, 
and after the class also like once we will finish this session i will be sharing my details so you guys can keep in touch with me for any after jobs uh, like job support and all that also i provide okay so it is not like it is just uh, for a training purpose uh, but in after training also we can keep in touch and you can let me know if any help needed for you okay and if nothing is there then we can wrap it up and hope to see you in the classes thank you guys bye bye